Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing the third part review of the big lipstick line, <laughs> lipstick line that Makeup Geek put out within the last month, two months. Um, I'm finally getting around to reviewing and swatching. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Okay, so basically one of my videos I did was the lipsticks. And they came in this little box. They are color coded. They are sleek and beautiful. So one of my videos was doing a swatch test on all of these. The second video I put out was these plush cream lipsticks. And now I'm going to do these plush mattes. So you can see there's a, a difference in size. There was nine of these and there feels like a million of these. There are actually 18 of these. All right. So the lipsticks I loved, um, thought that those were going to be my fave actually, and then I tried on the plush lip creams. So the plush lip creams were awesome. The only thing that kind of disappointed me was there was like five purplish type colors and um, not enough variety. So then we come to these little babies and these are the plush matte. Now I wish that the plush cream would have been in this size. I like the smaller size. They're easier to carry. Plus, I mean, if you're going to try a bunch of colors, for the most part, you're not going to get all 18 of these and go through them in a short period of time. So for me, I do like the smaller tubes because I enjoy trying and wearing multiple different colors. So we're going to go ahead and do some swatches using these. The one that I have on my lip right now, as far as a swatch goes, is Beauty Queen. Oh my gosh, I love this brick red color. These things are so soft and plush is the right word. So Marlena, you did it again. I love the little wands. I can get it where I want to on my lips or for some reason I am just challenged with putting on lipstick. I cannot get the lipstick to go exactly where I want where the wands really do a better job for me. Now, as far as, um, again, I love being able to throw this in the purse. I love how pretty the coloring is on this. I mean, these little bad boys are a must have. I liked actually the variety of color she had in these plush mattes much better. So out of the three videos that I've done, these are already by far my favorite. So if you're going to spend money anywhere for her lips, um, her lip collections, and you don't know where to start, start out with the mattes, um, the plush mattes. I think you're going to be very happy with these. Um, plus, if you need to add sparkle or color, you can always do that with, um, say, for instance, like you can take um, a highlighter and, and dab them on your lips if you want something that's not as matte. So these as a base, hands down, are phenomenal. I highly, highly, highly recommend out of the three different brands that she put out, purchase these. So I'm going to just do an easy swatch test and put them on my arm since I have a nice pretty um, lily white arm so you can see what the colors look like. This one here is called Chatterbox. And I, you guys know I'm not very good at swatching. So Chatterbox is a nice coral color. Um, really like how pretty that is, especially with summer coming up. Next, we're going to swatch some Soccer Mom. So I try to group these as much by color as possible. Um, and as you can see, the Soccer Mom is a little more brownish in color, um, but equally as pretty for a nice summer day. And I know some of y'all are ready for winter to be over. Not me. I get hot flashes. This is bathing suit weather. It's lovely getting old. Okay, so this next color here is a little bit more mauve in color, and this one is called Marriage Material. So I guess you ladies, if you want to be marriage material, you need to be on the little mauve side of the lips. It might get you a proposal. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so in that same category... I've messed up my little way I wanted to swatch these. Okay, now we're going to get into some Beach Bunny. Some Beach Bunny is um, 
a nice light brown. I don't know if brown's the right word. Probably flesh tone or lighter color. Um, so, oops, got a little dab there. So you can see that that flesh tone color is really pretty. That would be beautiful on all skin types. Um, in fact, let me just put this color over Beauty Queen. I want to see what that looks like. Now, I know I have Beauty Queen underneath. But that actually made a beautiful layering of color. Ooh, I need to remember Beach Bunny and Beauty Queen are the two for layering. Look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to go into a little bit of a lighter pink. And this one is called... Dun, dun, dun. How about some goody two-shoes? Gotta love some goody two-shoes. That would have been me growing up. <laughs> but we won't talk about what happened when I, when I moved far away. Okay, next we're going to go into Smarty Pants. This one has always been a little bit of me. Um, I am huge Smarty Pants. So this one is more of an orangey coral versus the first one we tried. And again, I really like that for a pop of color for spring. Actually, all these colors are going to look amazing come springtime. So I think Marlena hit it at a wonderful time to get these out. So if you haven't looked at Makeup Geek, MakeupGeek.com, and you can find all of these little bad boys. All right, so here is the next color. Gotta love a little bit of a darker color. And this one is called Plain Jane. And there is nothing plain about Jane on this swatch test. So this is a really pretty color I think that you could pull off with almost any eye look. And that is just absolutely gorgeous. Next, we're going to go into a Boss Lady. Gotta love a name like Boss Lady, right? So this one's a little bit more, um, has a little bit more of a red tone maybe to it. It is not quite brick red, but is kind of in that brick red collection. Again, a very beautiful color. This would be stunning to go out at night in, or if you just want a boss lady kind of look going into the office, there you go. All right, next. Okay, this was, again, me. I guess I can find a little bit of me in all of these. Um, so, Tomboy. I grew up being a Tomboy. Had my first little motorcycle at the age of eight. So, or maybe younger. Um, but this color here is Tomboy. It is a nice um, purpley, mauve color. Again, I think that that is just going to be absolutely stunning. It can match most eye looks that come out. And um, very popular color of 2016. Okay, we're going to keep going. Urbanista. Let's see what Urbanista looks like. Urbanista is a little bit darker and maybe very similar to Tomboy, but just a little bit darker in hue. This could actually make a very pretty ombre color or ombre lip. Um, not one that's totally in your face, but one that um, would complement each other, be very, a very soft ombre, and absolutely stunning. Okay, so this next one is called Cougar, and that just cracks me up. There is a story um, with one of the local young gentlemen um, who used to golf and passed away far too early, but he had three women that he loved, and so everyone um, fought for who was the cougar spot. All fun. All fun. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm going to need to send those ladies this lip color here and let them know here's the cougar's lip color. So very nice fuchsia color. If you're into pinks and you like a bright pink, um, this one is called Bachelorette, and actually it just looks like Barbie to me. I don't know. That one I would have to tone down. It is super bright and in your face, and um, I tend to like a little bit more of a muted color. But if you like a bright bubblegum Barbie doll pink, 
look up Bachelorette. Okay, so kind of still in the pinks. Maybe we're going into a little purple zone. We will swatch this next one. And this next one is called Party Girl. So I guess if you're not a bachelorette, you could be a party girl. So I do love this mauve color. It's a little brighter than this one here. Um, but again, more muted, which I do like. Okay, so in the purples, we've got a really bright purple. This one I think I'm going to love, um, even though I say I like more muted. But I do, for some reason, my eyes are drawn to this color. It is called Daredevil. I'm like a crow to a baba, ladies. Um, this is such a beautiful color. I used one earlier um, for a look in one of my other videos that um, was very similar. And this pop of color looked amazing. Um, I was just absolutely in lust. So the fact that Marlena came out with one called Daredevil in that color scheme makes me extremely excited because I really do like this color. Okay, so now we're going to a little rocker chick. Who doesn't love a little rocker chick? Um, this one is more of a mm, wine color. Kind of reminds me of a day in Napa. Um, very, very pretty wine color. And um, again, this formula is absolutely creamy and stunning. Okay, so next we are going to go to Wild Child. And instead of Wild Thing, we can change the words to Wild Child. You make my heart sing. Doesn't rhyme, but we'll go with it. Um, so Wild Child is a great purple color. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely yummy. I know that some women have a hard time with purples, but... This, if you, if you were too uncomfortable using purples on your eyes, do some browns and some muted um, earth tone colors and then spice it up with a bit of Wild Child. Your makeup look would be awesome. Last but not least is called Misfit. So we're going to put Misfit right there. So again, kind of in the purpley range. This one's probably a little cooler toned. Um kind of offsets these over here. Just a really, really pretty color. Um, I'm sorry I'm not very great. I'm not very good at doing swatch tests, but you can see the array of colors that Marlena did for these plush mattes. And again, oh my gosh, these feel absolutely amazing on the lips. I now know out of the three that she put out, um, the, the plush mattes are my favorite. Plush creams are next, and then followed by the lipsticks. However, I do like how the lipsticks, what, what the packaging look like on them, along with the colors at the end. So um, Marlena just did a fantastic job putting together these different lip looks for you, um, or lip colors for you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or rewind, or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day.